we have seen chart now we will take a look at what is current so current it is the directional movement of electrically charged particle that means there has to be some directional movement and there has to be the movement of charged particles so so we have some material like this and if, suppose we have a lot of positive charges here so we have some positive charges so we have positive charges here and let's say for some reason it is moving in this direction so what we have here is a net directional movement of charged particles so these particles have a net directional movement in a particular direction so we can say that there is a current flow so now there is a current in this material and the direction of current because it is due to positive charges we can say that the direction of current is along this direction so we will see the di about direction of current later now let's see what is the unit of current that is the unit of current is ampere so what is the unit the unit is ampere and we have said that there is a moment of charged particles right so what is the relation between charges and current so if we look at it we will know that the value of current i equal to dq by dt that is time rate of change of charges we all know that the unit of charge is coulomb and that of time is second so the unit of current should be coulomb per second and that's how ampere is defined that means ampere is 1 coulomb per second so we can define it as if one ampere of current flowing past a point means say we can say that if the current here is one ampere that means we have one coulomb of charge flowing past this point in one second so that's how ampere is defined one coulomb flows past a point in one second we can say that there is one ampere of current so we have discussed that current is the flow of charged particle so the flow will have some direction right suppose if we have a lot of positive charges and it is moving in this direction then we say that the direction of current flow is along this direction so the direction of current flow is assumed to be in the direction of positive charges so direction of current flow is in the direction of positively charged particle it was an earlier convention and we still follow it so if you have a positively charged particles moving in this direction we can say that the current i due to positive charges is also along this direction now what if we had a lot of negative charges so these are all negative charges and it is moving in this direction now we have defined current flow in terms of positive charges right so we can assume that the negative charge motion in this direction has some positive charge motion in the opposite direction so the current flow here will be in the direction opposite to the motion of negative charged particle so this is an important point now we have seen what is current so current is simply the net directional movement of charged particles and we can find the relationship between current and charges as i is equal to dq by dt okay that is the time rate of change of charges so if there is some charge change different with respect to some time we can say that there is some current flow and the unit of current is coulomb per second and one coulomb per second we call it as one ampere of current flow okay so one ampere means one coulomb of charge electrical charge flowing past a point in one second so these are the important points now we will see how we can cause charges to move and cause a current flow so the question is five coulombs of negative charges flows past a point in one second towards the positive x direction so what is the current in that direction that means what is the current in the positive x direction